so hi everyone i am here with harpreet kaur and uh, she has just won the reality show the apprentice for which she has got 250000 british pounds of investment for her dessert parlors called oh so yum uh, that's the reason we are talking to her harpreet thank you so much for taking our time for us i believe uh, crazy schedules right now but in the beginning the first question which i really want to ask you is when you thought of going in for this reality show which is of course a world renowned reality show the apprentice weren't you feeling scared that is probably it could be a little uh, you know risky because tv is like that it could be great but it could also go the other way over to you um great question and i think i was a little bit naive i've never been on television before i've been running my business for 6 years and the apprentice is a huge show here in the uk i think around 9 million people watch every single episode but for me i don't know if this is the punjabi side to me but i was completely fearless and i didn't even once consider um what if it doesn't go to plan or what if it goes wrong it didn't even enter my mind so i'm not sure if that was quite naive or actually if it's a real positive strength because i wasn't scared i just had in my head i was going to go on and i was going to do an amazing job i have a lot of self belief and luckily i managed to put it off so there haven't been the negative repercussions um so yeah it's gone quite well now um, what is lord sugar like i think that's a question which uh, i mean of course you know we've seen him on the show we've seen him during his live interviews but obviously you've interacted with him also on a personal level so what is he like i think a lot of people would love to know about that Lord Sugar is exactly the same way as you see on television, you know. He doesn't put it on as a TV personality. That is his personality. He's very tough. He's very straight to the point. He's very direct. Um but I think that's why maybe me and Lord Sugar kind of get on because if viewers have seen the show, they'll know that I'm actually also a very direct person. I like to get to the point. I like to stick to facts. So it works quite well um because we have personalities that can just get on well in business and get to the point. Um So yeah he's he's exactly the way that you see him. He's a very tough businessman and I have a lot of respect for Lord Sugar. right well i think i think he'll be pretty satisfied with that answer also if you're seeing this interview and uh, <laughs> what what really changed for you you know that typical cliche question like when somebody wins a reality show what really changed for you after winning you know i mean going out you must be getting recognized on the streets and autographs and selfies and what not so what is what is that like yeah it's definitely a big change i mean you know i've I was never big on social media. I'm quite a private person and to now go and put myself out there in front of millions of people, it's been quite um strange for me actually, especially since winning the show. Everybody seems to know who I am and it's really really nice, but everyone wants a picture, everybody wants to stop and talk and I absolutely love that. It's just hard juggling that with running the business as well. Running a business is hard enough anyway. You don't have any spare time. So I'm trying to find the right balance of, you know, speaking to people. Um a lot of people have reached out to me saying that I inspire them, a lot of female Asian um women as well. So I'm still getting there. I think I'll get better and better at it over time, but it's really really nice actually. Um it's a nice feeling. you apparently i mean i don't know where but i've heard that you made a, a statement uh, that you know you are born to take control and you are always right <laughs> so do you want do you want to so, go back on that statement or do you do you hold your ground regarding that statement well i'm quite stubborn so i definitely agree that i was born to take control i definitely excel when i'm in in the lead or in a position of leadership and i think i'm quite successful when i do that you know i always lead my team for the win um in terms of i'm always right when you apply for the show you do really have to um exaggerate your personality a lot because you want to get on the TV show right so you want to get on there and then focus on the investment but initially when you apply you have to act a little crazy so i would say i am i am 99.9% of the time right but i'll leave a small very small percentage just in case well very very humble of you are we going to be seeing you in any other 
upcoming uh, sort of uh, reality shows or television presentations or anything like that and what plans for the future really most importantly regarding also oh yam and the other things so my main focus is definitely my business you know i didn't go on the show to become a reality reality tv star my 100% focus was getting that investment so that's a big tick in the box for me so now definitely for the next few years 100% i'm focusing on the business i want also oh yum to be the number one dessert brand hopefully we will be able to come over to india one day and i can share my yummy treats and recipes with you as well um obviously india is very close to my heart um right. i've only visited six or seven times i haven't been for a few years just because i've been really busy with work but um love coming back to punjab and i would love to explore more of india i'm desperate to come to mumbai I want to explore Gujarat a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, um, the plan is definitely to keep going, opening more stores. I've just launched a delivery service to offer my desserts across the UK. So we'll keep growing from there. I don't have any TV shows planned at the moment, but there's a few things like interviews and um, a of few course. other things that align. Yeah. Um, maybe in the future, who knows? Let's see if Bollywood wants me. I don't know. <laughs> I need to brush up on my acting skills first. I I really like how you just put that out over there. Very very nice. Yeah. So uh, best of best of luck with uh, all your ventures ahead, and thank you so much for taking out time to speak to us. Thank you so much, Kabir. Speak soon. Thank you.